Hello, my friends. Jacob is here. Happy Sunday to you. I'm so happy that you're joining me for this very mysterious passage of Scripture that nobody knows anything about. Everybody thinks the worst when it comes to this passage in Scripture. Everybody says, you know, if you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, that's it. There's no forgiveness for you. You're done. It's a, uh, it's a big deal because, you know, supposedly everything else will be forgiven, but when you blaspheme the Holy Spirit. So what does it mean? People have used this passage to keep people silent in the pews, right? Because someone will come up there and say, God told me this, God told me that. And if they say, well, hang on a second, pal. That's probably not what that passage meant. Or, wait a minute, hang on a second. I don't believe that that's what that means. The the uh, the pastor or the uh, guru or the person, whoever's leading, the rabbi, they'll be like, yo, yo, yo. You can't be blaspheming the Holy Spirit. You don't get forgiveness for that. You're in trouble. So, this is a, a stressful little passage of scripture. A lot of people worried about it. Did I blaspheme the Holy Spirit? What does it mean? Well, the word blaspheme has a couple of different definitions. My favorite definition is to declare something that is it, to be wrong when it's right or something to be evil when it's good. But blaspheming could also mean to slander it. You know, somebody's doing God's work and then you go in the comment section, you're like, hey, Jacob, he's a big jerk nose. Don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And if I'm sharing the things of God, then that would be, you know, calling good evil. So uh, does that mean that that person that made a mistake that didn't know any better, that, that they're punished forever? If I'm doing the Lord's work and they come against me, does that mean that they can't ever be forgiven? Well, people don't know what forgiveness is. Let me get into the passage. Let me just read this. This is going to be a shorter show, maybe 10 minutes. I'm going to try to keep it at 10 minutes because i got to get to work. You know, it's Sunday. I'm reading from Mark chapter 3. This is the King James Version. Okay, and it's 3. I think it's 328. But let me just lead into it. Now, this is Jesus speaking. He's talking about a house divided against itself. Now, that's an important thing because my last video was about a house divided. The video before it was about a house divided. About how this world has been programmed to, to uh, you know... It can't stand. If you and I have an issue, we can never build something together, right? If, we, if we're if we divided against each other, uh, how can we ever withstand the storms that are going to come? This country is right now divided, and that's a problem because it can't stand. So God's going to have to do something. And I believe that uh, in my next video, you're going to see that God is working big time. And the scribes came down from Jerusalem, and he said to Jesus, who, Yahshua, for those who have a problem with the name that everybody knows him by, you who have Beelzebub, the prince of the devils. That's how you're casting out the devils. I got shows on devils and how to cast out devils, right? How the scriptures say that, you know, the truth shall set you free, that they worshiped unto devils, unto gods they knew not, unto gods they newly made up. Lies! father of all lies. So if you're casting out a devil, you're speaking the truth to a person who has believed lies and the lie, that evil, wicked spirit of lying, it's, uh, it's cast out. So when Jesus was going around and he was, he was helping people and he was helping people see the truth, they're saying he uses the power of the devil to cast out the devils. It's kind of like he's lying to people that believe lies to get them to not believe lies anymore. That doesn't make any sense. He's doing God's work. So these guys are coming against him and they're saying, oh, you're not doing God's work. And that would be blaspheming the Holy Spirit. I think you're not going to get forgiven for that. You're not going to be forgiven for that. There's a great passage in the Old Testament about Jacob, right? Where it says, I'll bless those that bless Jacob and I'll curse those that curse Jacob. That's kind of the same thing. You know, if you're doing the will of God and somebody blesses you, you're going to be blessed by it. And if you're doing the will of God and somebody curses you, there's no forgiveness. See, that's, uh, that's the, uh, the answer right there. There's no forgiveness when you're coming against the, 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 the will of the, of the Lord, when you're coming against the Holy Spirit, to blaspheme the Holy Spirit. There's no forgiveness for that. And he called them and he said to them in parables, he says, how can Satan cast out Satan? 
That just doesn't make a lot of sense. How can lies get rid of lies? Doesn't make any sense at all. If a kingdom be divided against itself, kingdom can't stand. If the house is divided against itself, it can't stand. If Satan rises up against himself, he loses all influence, he can't stand. You get what I'm saying? No man, this is, uh, this is also another mystery, can enter into a strong man's house and spoil the goods, except for he first bind that strong man, then he'll spoil his house. Verily I say unto you, this is the important part, all sins shall be forgiven unto the sons of man, and blasphemies wherewith soever they blaspheme. But he that blaspheme against the Holy Ghost shall never have forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. Because they said he has an unclean spirit. So in other words, Jesus is doing the will of God. He's doing the things of God. And they came in and they said, no, no, no. You're a devil. You're a wolf in sheep's clothing. Don't listen to that guy, Yahshua. He's a big phony baloney just trying to get your money. Hmm. Sound familiar? A lot of people do that today. But yet, he was doing the will of God doing the will of God. And he was trying to tell him something. He's like, look, dudes, you know, if you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, you're not going to be forgiven. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean that you're going to be, you know, uh, endlessly tortured forever? I got videos on hell. You want to know what hell is? Look it up. Okay. I have uh, videos on these things. I have essays on all these things that I talk about on the show, more like biblical insights and spiritual insights. Jacobisrael.com. I don't know what side it's on. I always mess it up. I think it's this side. I don't know. Who knows? But uh, check out the uh, the website. Go there. There's so many things that I've written over the years for like two decades if you want to learn more. Subscribe there too because if anything happens here, you know, I'll, that's where I'll be. So what does it mean? Well, let me tell you what forgiveness means. To understand this, you have to understand what forgiveness means. Forgiveness means to let go of something, okay? So I'm holding on to a water bottle, okay? I'm holding on to it. And if I hold on to it, say it's a weight. Say I'm holding on to a big, strong, heavy weight right? I'm angry and I'm holding on to this weight <laughs> and uh, it's going to start to hurt. The longer you hold on to things that aren't right, it's going to start to hurt. But if you let it go, that's forgiveness. Letting things go. So in other words, you borrow some money from me. You come over, you say, Jacob, let me borrow 50 bucks. And I'm like, yeah, sure. No problem. You need it. Here you go. Boom. And uh, you don't pay me back. Every time I see you, I'm going to be upset with you. I'm going to be like, yo, $50, dude. What's going on? Where's my money? Where's my money, man? But uh, if I forgive him, I say, you know what? You don't got to pay me back. I release you of that debt. I'm not a jerk to you anymore. I don't talk smack to you. I don't give you a hard time because I've released you of that debt. I'm not carrying that weight, that burden anymore because I've forgiven you. That's what forgiven is. Forgiveness, see, this is what the, the religion teaches, is that you'll be forgiven, but you got to go say like a million Hail Marys, and you got to do the uh, the penance, and you got to do that, and you got to do this. It's kind of like when you're a kid, you do the wrong thing. Mom's like, yeah, I forgive you, but now go to your room. You're going to be punished. That's not forgiveness. That's punishment. So, this is a mystery. I hope you hear it. When you blaspheme against other things, right, when you call, but if God is moving and working, and you call it evil, you're not going to be forgiven for that. You're going to be corrected. That doesn't mean that you're going to be tortured endlessly. It just means you're going to have to pay the piper. You know, it means that if you borrowed that $50, you're going to have to pay that $50 back, maybe with a little bit of interest because you, my friend, blasphemed the Holy Spirit. I don't know why this is such a hang up scripture for so many people. I don't know why. And it's been used as a weapon so many times. People get so scared. Did I blaspheme the Holy Spirit? Did I do it? It's not, if you did, okay, you're going to have to pay the price. It's no big deal. Everybody goes through hard times. You're corrected. Everybody's corrected. God is better than any parent you can imagine. It says this in scripture. What father among you, you know how to take care of your kids, right? You created your kids. If you're a good parent and they ask you for food, you're not going to give them poison, right? The scriptures say that if they ask for an egg, you're not going to give them a serpent. If they ask for bread, you're not going to give them a stone. If you being an ignorant meathead, because, you know, we kind of became ignorant, right? Ruled by the, 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 the ways of the world and we died to the truth. And we died to the truth of who we are. Well, if you're being ignorant, know how to take care of your kids. You don't think God who's perfect knows how to take care of us. You don't think God is going to forgive you. Even if you call something that God is doing evil when it's good. So don't get all stressed out about these things. Now you understand what blasphemy and the Holy Spirit means. 
All right, now you understand what it means when it says you won't be forgiven. Because forgiveness means you don't gotta pay the price. So, you do the wrong thing, you come against God, you come against the word of God, guess what happens? You have to pay the price, no big deal. You have to work it off. Yeah? You have to go to your timeout for like 15, 20 minutes or however long it is with the, uh, the kids. I have a lot of old kids now, so I don't, you know, the timeouts don't, we don't really do that anymore. But I'm glad that you stopped by. I hope that you're having the best Sunday ever. And I hope that you seek the truth, you know, ask for God to teach you more. Don't just listen to what I say. Don't just listen to what other people say. Don't just think that because something sounds clever, that that's the answer. Always study to show yourself approved. Be like the Bereanians. Get excited. Ask God, teach me the truth. Is, is Jacob telling the truth about this blaspheme and the Holy Spirit thing? You know, uh, is forgiveness really releasing somebody of debt? Or are you supposed to punish them in forgiveness? <laughs> because I, that's not forgiveness, and as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, you get it. Forgiveness is you let, you let things go. So, I love you all, and I hope you do take a moment to subscribe. Share the channel around. Oh! Check to see if you're still subscribed, please. Go check and then hit notifications because, you know, every time I up upload a video lately, I'm in one of those, <laughs> it's like a culling of subs. They, they, they do this, I don't know why. And every uh, every month or so, I go through a period of these weeks where just every time I upload a video, it's just, you know, foo, 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 foo. And then, then a month later, it'll be a gang, 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 gang. But a lot of people are being unsub. Please go check to see if you are. And if you're not, Will you please do it already? If you've been watching the channel, it helps. Because I dipped below 150,000. That's very sad. Very sad. It is what it is, though. You know, God's in charge of it all, regardless. So I'm not going to blaspheme it because I don't want to lose any more of you beautiful, wonderful people. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. Thanks for watching Jacob Israel. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and share this channel around. If these shows have helped you, Help Jacob to reach more any way you can and have the best day ever.